Welcome into my channel. My name is Cookies, and I am a variety streamer on Twitch, as well as doing a few YouTube tutorials here and there. We had a request for this video, I believe just a nerdy no-name asked for it, and we really hope this finally helps them make their ram's horns. So let's give it a go. We're gonna pop on into Vroid, <laughs> open up the hair editor, because this is where we live, this is where the magic happens. Once that's open, I know it's probably been 400 years, but that's okay. So the first thing you're gonna do, go in, click base, and add a freehand group. So you can see mine's hidden quite a ways underneath her hair. So what we need to do is we need to go in and move our points out. So click your mirror button, make sure it's on. I'm gonna pull up the center point a little bit so that it sits on the top of her head. And I'm gonna do the same for all the other points because I want to be able to see these. I'm going to pull these ones a little bit away from her. Try to keep them in a straight line. Now, once we have this looking kind of like this, we're going to go ahead, click our mirror button off. And we're going to bring these points from the front in this is where our horns are going to disappear into her hair. This is the line that we're drawing in the sand, saying no horn beyond this point. As you can see, I've played around a bit. So I'm going to select this black one. We're going to go in. We're going to make sure what we got. We got thickness of 0.1 and a width of 0.1. We're using the diamond cross section and fluffy. I'm going to keep this at a bit of a diagonal. I want the horns to be thicker at the base than they are at the tip because that's how nature's done it. So once we have this all in place, you know what? I just don't trust this mesh. I'm going to pull it out a bit in the back here because I don't want wonky horns. The straighter these lines are, the better. So now I'm going to select my brush. I've got my black on. It's got that diagonal. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a bit of a C curve. So I feel like I pulled my mesh back a little bit too far. I feel like I drew the line in the sand in the wrong spot. Let's move it back forward a bit. Okay. Grab that brush. So we're going to go ahead, click our mirror button back on so we draw them both at the same time. Now we're just going to draw our C-curve on there. So let's start maybe by the corner of her eye, somewhere around here, and just pull them back and around. I know they don't quite look perfect at the moment. That's okay. We're going to play with them a little bit and see if we can get them to do what we want them to. I might actually pull the, the mesh up above her head so that they can go up and around. So let's try that. Pull that part up a bit. Pull this part up a bit. Yes, now we're talking. Okay. So we have the basis for our horns. They're looking not terrible. They could be worse. They could be better. They could be worse. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab my control points. The first thing I want to do is I want to pull the base of the horn into her scalp so that you can't see where it starts because we don't want to see the very, very end of it. Let's go ahead and do that. Now that I've done that, I'm going to round out this side a bit more by moving my control points. Because as we know, nature doesn't really make these all blocky like this. Well, that's, I am not offended. I'm really happy with how these are turning out. So now the thing to do is we're gonna change our texture because that's really gonna bring out the horns a bit more. So 
just adjusting these just to give it that bit smoother of a look. Bit more smooth. I like smooth. Grab the freehand group, click select, and we're going to add our texture. I'm using bright orange so I can see it really easily. I'm going to go into my textures. Go down to the texture that you're looking for. You might have to check them all out. That's why I made mine orange, so it'll be nice and easy to find. There it is. We're going to click the layer. Now I'm going to click my eraser. Make it as big as I can. Which it already is. I'm going to erase all the orange. I know it's strange. Just makes it easy to find. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the width of my brush. That looks good. I'm going to go over here to a darker color, something kind of in the black range. Now I'm going to switch to my brush. I'm going to do the top and the bottom. I'm going to go through and do little black lines. Try to make them evenly spaced apart. And as you can see, as I draw them on, they show up on the horns themselves. Kind of get a general idea there. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to move this maybe into a lighter orange. I'm going to use this as the highlight color. I'm going to put it in between each of my black lines, just making sure there's no checkered spots left. Because when it's checkered, it shows up as invisible on your, on your horns. Now for the other side, I'm going to move this over into a darker color because I want it to feel like it's a shadow, but still kind of in the same family. That might not be dark enough. Let's go down here somewhere. Yee, that's better. Again, make sure you cover up all that checkered stuff. Because we want to see the horns themselves, not invisible stuff. And there's the general idea of a horn. As you can see, I did some funky stuff here. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Oh, that's what's happening. So, go back over here, click that color, because I know I'll never repeat it again unless I do this. Click off of that, and we're going to just clean it up so it's about half and half, because kind of how it would work. If you mess up, just start again. No big deal. Click that undo button. It's your friend. It's my friend. It might not be your friend, but it's my friend. Now, if you want, we can make these lines thicker. We can make them darker. We can move them around. We're in control. This is our project. If you find somewhere you missed, go back, click your eyedropper, pick the color you want, back to the eyedropper button again, and fill it in. If we want, we can make this entirely black and do our lines again. So click the export button and it'll allow you to save it wherever you want. You can take that file and then import it into another photo editing program like Photoshop or Inkscape. Once that's done, import your gradient file so that you have a better looking texture. Some people can do it right in Vroid, and that's amazing talent. I don't know that I'm that talented, but we're going to work with what we have here. So let's pretend we've imported our created gradients. Now we're going to go back to design, select the freehand group again that we've created. We're going to go ahead and I think we're just going to pick one at a time. And here we have texture parameters. This is the offset. So you can move it. So you see how it got darker? We want it to be lighter on the outside, darker on the inside. Just like that. All right, we're gonna click on the other side and just move that so that it works about the same. Light on the outside, dark on the inside. Just like that. I'm really happy with how these turned out. Wow. 
All right. That is ram's horns. Okay. We're going to try another thing. We're going to try for another type of horn. So I'm going to hide this one by toggling the visibility. I'm going to create a new freehand group and we're going to start over. This time, I want to pull everything kind of just straight up. Very much like this. I'm going to pull the front by clicking off my mirror button and just pulling the front in a little bit because I want my horns to sit behind her bangs. So once I'm happy with where I think the horns are going to start, I'll go ahead and draw them in. Now we've still got that same diamond pattern, the cross section. The curve is fluffy. We've got a little bit of a diagonal so that it starts thicker at the base and goes thinner at the tip. And now we're just going to draw them on. I'm going to start just above her eye. I forgot what I was doing, Kramit. Click your mirror button. Select the pattern that you want because we've already created it so we know it's there. We're going to go ahead, go just above her eye. I think I want them because I want them separated a bit. Very much like this. So now back to my control points. And remember how we did before? We're going to pull this in just behind her bang. We get to create the shape. You can pull them together like bull horns, or you can separate them out. Uh, these kind of remind me of the horns that, uh, the big red guy had. Who's that big red guy? He's a big red guy. Big arm. Shoot. I forget what his name is. Well, they remind me a little bit of devil horns. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, they kind of remind me a bit of devil horns. So I'm going to say that instead. Let's say devil horns. <laughs> Maybe even Maleficent horns. Wow, you know what? I'm really happy with these. I might sport these as a look for Halloween, you guys. I'm very happy with how these turned out. You guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial today. So once again, I want to thank Just a Nerdy No Name for asking for this video. And I want to thank everybody for watching. As always, guys, it's been a slice. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!